Hi, I'm Lauren. Welcome to my channel. We're doing a closet clean out. I can't speak. So, spring is upon us. Getting into the spring cleaning spirit, I guess. Okay, so what actually happened? So, I would like to say that I was just really inspired by spring just being around the corner and that I wanted to just spring clean and feel really happy that it's no longer gonna be cold but that's not true so spring definitely comes early where I live um, and also very suddenly so I was not expecting the weather to be 80 degrees uh, one random day this week and all of my spring clothes, all of my summer clothes are put away during the winter. So in a panic, I went to my closet up here, my top shelf where I store all of my non-winter clothes, my summer clothes, and I pulled it all down and the bag tore just completely tore, all the clothes spilled everywhere, um, I didn't care, I was in a rush. I started looking through the clothes and realized that I don't even like those clothes either. So, so I decided we're gonna do a closet clean out, which I really did not want to do a closet clean out video or like a closet clean out at all for like a while. Because I have a lot of guilt about getting rid of clothes, like a lot. So, uh, so I I was trying to avoid this, but I really just do not like anything in my closet. Um, a lot of things don't fit me anymore, and I'm kind of just accepting that they probably won't fit me anytime soon. And by the time they do fit me. I might not even like them, that style anymore. So we're just gonna do it. Um, I've never filmed a closet clean out. I did say I don't wanna like Marie Kondo all this, but this is all of my winter wear. And since uh, I'm like, we're transitioning now into spring and summer, I need to take all of this out anyway. So I'm gonna be taking all of this out, folding it all up and putting away what I want to keep and getting rid of what I'm not keeping and then as I put my spring clothes up I will only put up what I know I want to keep and everything else I'm not sure of I'm just gonna have to go through it uh so yeah I do have just like a giant pile of clothes on the floor right now because it all fell from my closet so I <laughs> So this has to be done. This has to get done anyways. Oh my gosh. Just a white t-shirt that I didn't wear a single time this winter. This is the first clothing piece and I'm already freaking out. I kind of want to keep it. Okay. Maybe. This one, um, this super cute, super witchy, also super uncomfortable, and I don't think I'm ever gonna wear this. It also does not flatter my boobs very well. This is a maybe. Okay. Just thrifted this not that long ago. I need to not have a shirt on when I try this on. Definitely needed to try this on because now that I'm feeling it against my skin, I hate it. Like, it does look cute. But, like, if I didn't know what it looked like and I put it on my body, I hate it. I hate how it feels. So maybe I shouldn't keep it. I don't know. I might keep this. Okay, I guess I could get used to how it feels like 
once I keep wearing it. Okay, so now it's time to tackle the giant pile of summer clothes on the floor. But I will not be showing you the floor, no. This is everything I am not sure about, and it's a massive pile. And then this is everything I need to put away. So I'm going to go ahead and put away all of this, and then I will try on these clothes, but I'm only going to show you what I plan to sell. Probably. Okay, so I did um, completely forget that I have a ton of pajamas in this dresser. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this pajama stuff away because I just took out my summer pajamas, my shorts, and all that. So now I need to take out my winter fleece pajamas and put that away. So I'm going to do that first. And then I have to try on everything that I'm not sure about. Gosh, this is hard. I do also have some like regular clothes stuffed in there. You know, because sometimes you try stuff on from the closet and then you don't want to hang it back up. So you just throw it in a drawer. Yeah, that's me. That's what I do. So. <laughs> It is now 7 p.m. and this is where we are at. I have so many clothes on the bed I still need to go through. Um, so this, this is all the clothes that I'm donating. Um, I did also give a lot of clothes away to my cousin. She like took, she took a whole bag 
like that big practically so that that felt good i much rather give my clothes to someone i know who's gonna wear it so these i'm donating i do have some clothes that i want to try to sell that i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys so here is the tote of clothes that i'm hoping to sell so i'm gonna go ahead and show you these pieces while i take photos of them to list so let's go through these really quick i'm like out of breath i just went walking i don't i don't do that i don't walk <laughs> Here's a long cocktail dress. She's really pretty. This one's one of my favorites. Obviously, I have nowhere to wear this though. It does have a bit of a stain in the front, but honestly, I think it blends in with the pattern itself, so it's not too bad. This one's like perfect for prom, I think. A cute little picnic dress. This one is so sweet, but it shows too much on my back. I'm not really comfortable with it. This one is just so dreamy and beautiful and I think it's vintage, but alas, it does not fit me. This one's got super tiny gingham print, but I, I just don't wear it enough and it's kind of hot for where I live. Here is another super sweet vintage one. It does unfortunately have a stain in the back, but it's still cute. Another vintage one that just does not fit me. Oh my god, this one just makes me so depressed. It also does not fit me. This one actually used to be my mom's. She asked me to try to sell it for her also. This super cute and super tiny leather skirt. Okay, we gotta speed round this because this is taking a while. Super cute olive green skirt. This is actually a wool skirt. Here's a midi skirt. This one actually has elastic in the back. So these pants are literally like aviator pants. These are actually super fun because it has this little built-in belt and you can use it to like make it longer or tighter. Some corduroy pants with a paisley print. Another pair of corduroy with a paisley print. Another paisley print, except these are velvet. Some super cute gingham shorts, some black LL Bean jeans, here's a wool coat, it's just way too hot to wear this where I live. Here's a little Ralph Lauren handbag, I'm obsessed with handbags, I have like a million little black handbags so I'm trying to, I'm trying to let go of them. Patchwork tote bag, and some cowboy boots that are way too small for my wide fat foot. This got a cute little heart. Okay, so those were all the pieces. I am very depressed now. <laughs> I have been holding on to these clothes for such a long time, so um, it's kind of hard letting go, right? But it's time. It's time to say goodbye. So I'm gonna go ahead and have all of these listed on my Poshmark, which I will have linked down below. So if you wanna check that out, please do. And thanks so much for watching till the end. Like and subscribe if you want to see more clothing content from me. And I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.